one of the things when you start looking at realistic, okay, what would it be like to live the same day over and over again? And of course, at first, it's, it's a nightmare, it's particularly with this. It's like it's the wor- you're having to live your worst day over and over again in one of the most gruesome you know, experiences of, of his life. He's having to live that over and over. But then to be able to predict people's behavior, uh, it becomes this wish fulfillment to a degree. And, but of course, it's constantly, it's just torture for Cage because, he, and the, the way, you know, you wait, the way he wakes up in the morning, the sergeant who kicks the bag, Farrell, it's all of these obstacles that he cannot get past. Cage is a guy who, he's an unlikely hero. He is a man who is, uh, goes on this extraordinary adventure. Uh, and meets this most the most extraordinary, capable, uh, badass woman, uh, and they end up going on this this uh, amazing adventure together. That's that's has tremendous amount of suspense, uh, tremendous amount of humor, uh, and a, and a, just a massive landscape. I mean, the film is epic. Developing the character was was a lot of fun, uh, and also because you have this relationship with Emily, and it really that is what this movie's about: this journey of Cage, but also of Rita. And Rita, Rita is not only a great, I, I just she's an incredible character. To know that she had this power to possibly save the world, and to have lost it, where she was caught into this loop, and came so close and yet failed. And she's also going into this battle knowing that she's going to die. And to have this second chance with this character, Cage, you know, and trying to train him, keep him in line, and that the relationship is, 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 is so interesting. Through the protagonist, you want to learn about Rita. And so where she's this mystery, as it starts unfolding, you see and experience uh, her humanity, her stakes, and, and it becomes quite moving. And you see what he, and you start to realize, oh my gosh, like he spent so much time with her. He's seen her die hundreds of times and what that must have been like to this person that he really comes to admire and someone who has made him better. And, and you see how that the relationship progresses. And it's, it just has, I think like with every Doug Lyman film and when I see his movies, what I love is that those moments that are, you just, you're, you, you're moved or you're, you're surprised by that. And that's the kind of tone and things that we're constantly going for within this, uh, within this film. Emily is, she's just, she is an exceptional actress. Uh, that kind of talent in drama and comedy. Uh, she can literally do anything. And, and, and you know, she's, uh, she's, <laughs> She's very humble, but she's an amazing athlete. What she accomplished physically in this film is, is we needed this for this movie. It's such a great character, and there is no one else. It, Paxson is someone that I've known for a long time. I admire his work. He just has these classic moments in, in, in cinema, and, and you know, you look at him in, in sci-fi and aliens, but but also he's just he's played classic characters. He's He's an amazing uh, comedian and dramatic actor. I love what he does with the genre. He's interested in the characters within that genre. Uh, he's a filmmaker that I've wanted to work with a long time because of his, his unique sensibility. He's, he's got a wonderful way of looking at the world, and I think he's a real humanity that comes out in the film. I mean, when you're doing the action, it's not just about doing the action, it's performance. It's you've got to think about a million different things. And so I also had to kind of figure out and work out how, how, to tra- how to kind of work on a training program with the stunt guys for the cast, J-Squad, for the other stunt guys. We, you know, I was, I was the test dummy you know, for a lot of this. And then looking at what 
so where does Cage start with the suit and where can he end up and what can we do? And because with that kind of mass, to move it at that velocity, it was, it was quite tricky. We were all in a, in a meeting and I said, and I said, you know, we don't have the opening. I said, we gotta, we gotta land a helicopter in Trafalgar Square, you know? And uh, I remember locations looked at us and I was like, no, no, I said, this is, you know, Doug got excited. We all got excited. I was like, this is gonna be cool. You know, if they, if they would let us do this. So the day came and there Doug and I were in that helicopter. <laughs> 